Welcome to this video showing a use case from manufacturing. We will cover various aspects, from cleaning outliers, to comparing assets, and to explaining causes of production defects. Feel free to use the video chapters for navigation. The data is anonymized yet real data. It's included with your Visplore installation. The data comprises 80,500 items which have been produced during approximately 4 days. Each dot in the time series view corresponds to one produced item. For each item we have several measured quantities. 5 parameters describing the used material and 10 parameters measured during the production process. When we click a variable name we see the time series and the histogram of that variable immediately. An important categorical variable is the production quality of the items. Each item is classified as OK or as one of two different reject reasons. A primary goal is to learn when defect production occurs and what could be the causes. Secondary goals are to compare machinery and to detect process drifts. Before we can answer that, however, we are facing some challenges. First, some of the 15 variables contain outliers. Let's select all produced items where material parameter 4 is higher than 1. We can do this directly in the view. The status line tells us that these are 25 items. If we want to, we can look up all the details for these items. This table shows the precise time, measured values, order ID, and so on for each of the 25 selected items. When you hover a row, the corresponding item gets highlighted in the time series view. It would also be easy to export that table. So what can we do about the outliers? We can simply clear these 25 outlying values in the material parameter 4. Press Cleanse and set missing. As you see, all views and statistics have updated. In the same way, we could cleanse outliers for the other variables. However, this reveals another challenge of this use case. The 80,500 items belong to different product types and were produced on different machines. For example, Let's assign the product type to color. We see that different product types have different parameter ranges. Visplore offers many options for dealing with categorical variables like the product type. Let's open the bar chart and make bars represent the product types. The length of the bars tells us how many items have been produced per product type. The color shows the average value for the selected process parameter 1. It's easy to correspond the bar chart to the other visualizations. If you click on a product type, you get the statistics of this product type. And the time series view highlights the items of that product. So you can see product specific characteristics immediately. Or all products again. You can adapt the view to your needs. For example, let's check which product types have been produced when. Assign the date to the x-axis and refine it by the hour. Now let's subdivide the y-axis by the product type. We can even order them by the mean value of process parameter 1. Here we are. With a few clicks, we have a good overview of when how many items of each product type have been produced. If we look at process parameter 3, we see that there are even jumps within product types. For product type 334A in the first row, the red color of the bars intensifies in the end. This matches the jump in the time series view. Let's dig a bit deeper here and split each row also by the used machine. 
And this is the explanation. 334A has been produced on three different machines. For machine 5, the distribution of process parameter 3 is different from the others. So let's compare these two assets. First, let's use the filter to keep only product type 334A. To do this, click the New button next to the filter and create a data filter. Based on the product type 334A. All views now only show that product type. However, the large gaps in the time series view are quite a waste of space. It's easy to hide these empty periods. Moving averages help us to see trends even better. Now let's compare the machines M2 and M5. The compare button is a powerful tool for all kinds of comparisons. In this case, we compare categories, namely the machines M2 and M5. With that, all views are configured to compare these two assets. The statistics are shown side by side for the two machines. The time series discriminates the machines by color, the histogram as well. The histogram also computes statistical tests to see if the means and standard deviations are different for the machines. This is the case here. In the bar chart, let's assign the order ID to the x-axis. This tells us that one order was produced on M5, the other two on M2. But which other variables were impacted by the shift from M2 to M5? The heat maps provide a rapid answer. A color difference between the left and the right half indicate variables with differences. Let's sort the variables so that stronger differences are shown on top. For example, the top-ranking process parameter 5 has higher average values for machine 5 than for M2. Additionally, it also shows more outlying spikes. Process parameter 2 below shows another difference. Here, the average is lower for M5, while the dispersion is much higher. As you can see, it took us just a few seconds to understand how the two machines differ. Now let's turn back to our primary goal, analyzing rejects. Let's exit the comparison between the machines. We can filter on machine M2 and product type 334A to ensure that we are looking at consistent data. Just click on M2 and press the filter and button as a shortcut for filtering by that. The first question is, when did rejects occur? All you need to do for an answer is to assign quality to the y-axis of the bar chart. In this case, we are not interested in the OK category, so let's hide it. This view now shows the trends of rejected parts for the reasons not OK1 and not OK2. Apparently, there were many not OK1 rejects from March the 1st at 7 p.m. until March the 3rd. How can we find out what might have caused these rejects? Let's simply select not OK1 and look at its distribution. The process parameter 2 has quite unremarkable values for the rejects. But maybe there are other variables where the rejects are distributed really differently. The histograms overview is an ideal tool for that. It orders all numerical variables by how different their distribution is for the rejects. In our case, process parameter 8 is ranked on top. Have a look at the time series. It shows an interesting jump just before the increase of rejects. Maybe the process has been changed to the worse here. Later, another process change seems to have solved the problem. 
Let's also have a look at process parameter 6 below. At the first glance, it's not immediately clear what process parameter 6 contributes to the answer. However, when process parameter 6 exceeds a certain value around 0 0.8, item seems to be rejects. Together, the two parameters reflect two different causes for problems. Large values for process parameter 6 are rejects, and there is a cluster in a certain range of process parameter 8. Now let's turn to the second reject category, not OK2. Select it and look at the histograms overview again. In this case, the top ranking variable is not as informative as the variable below, namely process parameter 2. Here we see a staircase pattern. What's even more interesting is that many rejects seem to be at the end of an upward trend. This insight provides a hint where to look further into the process. There is a lot more to discover in this data. Feel free to explore it on your own. However, the needs of manufacturing quality analytics go much further. Visplor Professional matches these needs. For example, experience interactive quality control charts, including set point and tolerance limits. Compute quality metrics such as the CP and CPK values, even for large numbers of products, grades, and plants. And see non-conformity hotspots at a glance. For example, the red color indicates that some product types have many non-conformities. In a few clicks, you can select and export these non-conformities. This concludes the video about manufacturing analytics. We have shown how to deal with outliers, how to compare assets, and how to analyze reasons for rejects. We hope the video was helpful. Thank you for watching.